This is the story of Electra Dashwood. On the 8th of December 2023, she decided to sit down and business plan. Actually think through her next steps instead of just following after the next cool idea that popped in her head, regardless whether it would move her towards her bigger goals or not. See, planning, slowing down, calming down really, was hard for her, as it was also to remember to take her multivitamin. They were both definitely works in progress. I feel like a package just got delivered. It's always the exciting knock or the terrifying knock if you're my cats. You're a grandpa cat. Yes, you are. The younger kitties beat you up. What are you doing? This just does not involve you. Sir. I was gonna unbox it, but somebody's kind of impatient, huh? You want this? Come here. You can have it. Sir! What? Now he leaves. Okay guys, this is what I got. I got cuticle oil. These like, the cuticle pushers, but they're like plastic and rubber, so they're like easier on your cuticles. Because I feel like mine are just very sensitive. And then I got instant cuticle remover, which I'm honestly kind of scared about once I was thinking about it. It's maximum strength eliminates overgrown cuticles in 15 seconds. Can also be used as a callus softening gel. Mm. Basically, you guys may have noticed a theme here. It's all about my nails because ugh, I'm trying to take my nail care more seriously because guys, my nails just keep breaking and being ugly. I mean, they're not like hideous, but like especially my thumbs. You guys know me and my like thumb breaking problems. I have the worst fingernail problems in that they break. They break so bad all of the time. <laughs> it's my worst nail problem. Anyway, but this is, I'm going to give myself a manicure in a few days. The reason I'm not yet is because I'm actually trying out this other nail product that's already in my bathroom. Let's go get it. Okay, guys. So I've actually been loving this so far. It is a nail strengthening serum by OPI, I think. Okay, here it is. It is OPI's repair mode serum. So this is actually not a polish. It's just like a serum that just sinks into your nails. So you're supposed to use the serum twice a day for six days and I'm on like day three or four and in my imagination at least there is an improvement. Though obviously my thumbnails have not grown out because it's only been three days. So it, you know it can only repair like the overall nails, but like, as you can see, my thumbs are still like terrible. And I don't know why I'm like having flashbacks to spy kids with thumb thumbs right now. <laughs> okay, that's not even relevant. Okay, moving on. So you're supposed to use this for like six days, twice a day, and then use it once a day after that. And then, but like after six days, you're supposed to start using the OPI Nail MV Strengthener, which is kind of like a polish. Uh, I haven't tried this. Obviously it's still in the box because I'm only on day three of this. However, that's like the current system I'm trying out. So when I do go to put this nail polish on, I have like this big dream of like, you know, gently pushing back my cuticles and like using all that stuff I just got. And, I know, what if you guys told me to start taking collagen for my nails, which I used to eat collagen a lot, like in smoothies or like I would put in other stuff and it never had any difference with my nails. So I don't, I don't know guys. I don't know what's wrong with me, clearly. But I also was very excited that I could get this cuticle oil like fragrance free. 
because I had gotten it years ago and it had a fragrance in it that bothered me. <sighs> so I'm hoping this fragrance free one will work. Also for the past few days, I've started taking a multivitamin. This one is Health by Habit. I've always struggled to stick to multivitamins. <sighs> I feel like the longest stretch of consistent vitamin taking I had was probably with Care Of. They sponsored a video on my old channel a while back and I did love their service, but like then eventually, I don't know, like I got depressed or something happened to even though it was super easy, I still could not stick to it. So I'm trying again with this. It's just like once a day in this giant container, <laughs> hopefully this helps. One thing that does worry me though is it contains biotin, which is supposed to be good for your hair and nails, but at the same time it can cause acne breakouts. And you know me and my acne problems. So I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I hope it doesn't cause acne breakouts, but you guys know how hard it is to find like women's supplements that do not contain biotin that also don't contain any of the other things I can't have. I think that's my problem. I'm like allergic to half the universe. Anyway, that is not the point though. Guess what movie is coming out today? The Monk movie. <laughs> Do you guys watch Monk? You know, the defective detective, which I think that's a very rude like catchphrase. I don't think he's defective at all. He just has some problems, but is otherwise not defective. <laughs> anyway, the Monk movie is coming out today and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna watch it with my family. I, I don't normally have like a Peacock streaming subscription, but I did sign up for one this morning just so we can watch the movie. So we get to do that later. After being thoroughly distracted by all of the things she ordered, Electra finally got back to the important business of planning. She started to realize that it wasn't just new ideas that drove her off of course from creating what she wanted to, but really a lot of it was fear. Okay, that was way too much cuticle oil. It's said to apply one drop to each finger. And I was like, um, that's a lot, but okay. Yeah, no, like now my hands are just super greasy. Fear of not knowing what to do exactly. She excelled in school because there was a rubric and there were distinctive expectations the teacher gave and she knew how to fulfill those. But in a creative career where she got to set her own expectations, it was kind of overwhelming. There was so much she could do, so much that could go right, and so much that could go wrong. Okay, so my family is home. You guys know what time it is. Monk movie time. Afternoon on the I only took it because it started right. Afternoon in the fall. Makes me think about it all. The woman across me, she's wearing a trench coat, a bouquet of roses. I wonder what they're for. A candlelit dinner, a date in the park, a night at the theater, or a love in the dark. I don't. Okay, so we finished the Monk movie. What did you guys think? Um, I guess right away, I solved the case right away. It's true. Here's what happened. He's the guy. He's the guy. Yeah, yeah it was like so obvious. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> the most obvious thing ever. Um, and now what we've discovered is like AI photo filters. <laughs> So clearly I needed to become royalty. Won't know if my life has been a breeze or a hurricane. They won't know that I sit here writing verses of their pain. But they will know that I fade back in a time for a moment and a place. 
realizing that I legit cook the same thing in every single vlog and I think that's because it's the easiest thing to cook while also recording yourself right also I do eat just like stir-fried zucchinis a lot a lot I also think I'm a creature of habit like if I do something once my brain is like that was the best thing let's do it over and over again like this one time after the gym I made tacos and I watched uh, the Good Doctor, the K-drama version, and then like for two months, I, almost every time I went to the gym, I was like, you know what I need to do now? I need to make tacos and watch The Good Doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm very much a creature of habit. Also, I'm totally back on this kimchi. Um, they have kimchi at Costco now, which is way cheaper. However, I like my allergens also reacted to it. So I had to go back to this, but it's good. So I mean, it's just expensive, but I actually eat it. This was something else I was realizing. I will sometimes like buy groceries cause I'm like, I should eat this, but then I won't actually eat it. So I'm like, I would save money even if I buy the more expensive stuff that I will actually eat because I'll actually eat it. See, logic. In the end, Electra came to realize that a lot of the confusion and a lot of the fear came from listening to too many voices, too many outside opinions that told her to do this or that she needed to do that, instead of listening to what she really wanted to do. So she decided to believe in herself and trust in the path she felt she needed to take and to not be distracted from making decisions that led her towards her ultimate goal. Okay, so you know how on Instagram a while back, like it was all the rage to get those like AI high school like 90s photos of yourself? So I think it came from this app that we've been using and I try to order them. Let's see if they're ready. It's still not ready. <laughs> okay, so you have to order them separately and it says it should take like 30 to 40 minutes and it's already been like an hour and a half. So will I ever get them? I know no one's even doing those anymore, but like I still want them. <laughs> This app is too much fun though. Okay, so the photos just came back. Okay, so let's see if like any of these look like me. <sighs> this one might kind of. This one slightly looks like me. Maybe I just didn't upload high enough quality photos. Some of them are hilarious. I think, okay, the pirate ones are looking the most like me. Apparently I was just born to be a pirate, guys. Okay, the comic ones, a lot of them look like me. Apparently I was just made to be in the 20s. Okay, this one literally is just like me. So I think I paid like three or four dollars for these and I don't think I would honestly recommend it because like a lot of them look nothing like me. Like this is just like a random girl with like dark hair. I can't even get a decent picture of myself with a crown that looks like me. Well, I guess this one. I think of all of the royalty ones, this one looks the most like me. But yeah, so that has been my AI, like, portrait fiasco. Also, I think they must have gotten rid of, like, the 90s yearbook option. Because, like, none of these are also, like, that... Maybe this one kind of vaguely looks like me. I think this is the most mythical creature that looks like me of all of these options. In a while since I let you define who I wanted to be, who I wanted to be.